Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about evaluating trigonometric ratios of special angles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 2 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we actually solve for the value of sine, cosine, and so on with this given special angles 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. So feel free to see the video class on how we derive this equivalent. Now this time class will be evaluating trigonometric ratios and I will give you more examples for you to really understand this one class. And we'll be answering this one class step by step. So let's start with number 1. So number 1 sine 30 degrees minus cosine 60 degrees. So once again sine 30 degrees, sine 30 degrees that is 1 half minus cosine 60 degrees that is 1 half. So, 1 half minus 1 half, that's correct, that is 0. The answer for number 1 class, that is 0. Alright, let's have number 2. Second, 30 degrees minus cotangent, 60 degrees. So, second, 30 degrees, this is equivalent. 2 square root of 3 over 3 minus cotangent, 60 degrees. So, cotangent, 60 degrees, that would be square root of 3 over 3. Once again, if you're subtracting fractions, simply copy the denominator. Okay, they, if they have the same denominator class, simply copy the denominator. So, same denominator, that is 3. Now, we are subtracting radicals on the numerator. Once again, if they have the same radicands, copy the radicands, then subtract the number outside. Understood class that there's 1 here for square root of 3. So, that would be 2 minus 1. So, 2 minus 1, that is 1. Then simply copy the radicand. Copy square root of 3. That's it class. That's the answer there. You can erase one class. Understood that there's one here. You can erase one. You can put one there. 1 square root of 3 over 3. That's okay. Or we can just erase one. Understood that there's one here. That's the answer class for number 2. Is it right? For number 2. Copy the denominator. Then subtract the numerator. So 2 minus 1. That is 1. Simply copy the radicals. Copy square root of 3. So, 2 minus 1, 1, then copy square root of 3 over 3. That's the answer class for number 2. So, let's try number 3. So, once again, class, we will have more examples, class, for you to understand this one. Alright, so number 3. Alright, so number 3, this is sine squared 30 degrees plus cosine squared 45 degrees. So once again, class, if you have sine squared 30 degrees, it means that you multiply the value of sine by itself twice. So sine 30 degrees, that is 1 half. So sine 30 degrees, that is 1 half. Now it says square. Therefore, we need to square this 1 half. Once again, we multiply this 1 half by itself twice. That's, that's the meaning of square, class. Okay, once again, if you have 3 square, it doesn't mean 3 times 2. It means 3 times 3. So 3 times 3, that is 9. 3 squared is 9. So, sine squared, 30 degrees, it means 1 half, then square. Okay, the value of sine, okay, let me just erase square class for you not to be confused. Sine 30 degrees, that is 1 half. Now, it says there's square, therefore 1 half, then square. Plus, cosine squared, 45 degrees, so you get the value of cosine. So, cosine 45 degrees. So, cosine 45 degrees, that is square root of 2 over 2. Now, we have square, we need to square. Alright, so simplify. So 1 half square, it means 1 half times 1 half. Once again, class, it doesn't mean 1 half times 2, it means 1 half times 1 half. So 1 half times 1 half, 1 times 1, that is 1, 2 times 2, that is 4. So 1 half square, this will be 1 over 4. Plus, so this one, square root of 2 over 2, square, it means square root of 2 over 2, times a square root of 2 over 2. Alright, so this will be square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is square root of 4. Then 2 times 2, what's the value of class? 2 times 2. 2 times 2, that is 4. So do we have square root of 4? Yep, the square root of 4. What's the answer class? Square root of 4. That's correct, the square root of 4, that is 2. Then simply copy 4. So the answer is 2 4. Once again, square root of 4, that is 2, then simply copy 4. So the answer of quantity square root of 2 over 2 squared the answer is square root of 4 over 2. Simplify 2 over 4. Alright, so this is 2 over 4. Plus 2 over 4. Once again, class, you can reduce 2 fourth. 
you can reduce this 1 by 2. Once again, 2 fourth, you can reduce that 1 by 2, right? 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. So we can reduce 2 fourth by 2. GCF, that is 2. So that would be 1 half. But in this case, class, do not reduce. Why is that, sir? Because they have the same denominator. If they have the same denominator, it would be really easy for us to add the fractions. So be careful with this one, class. If you can reduce, you reduce. But in this case, we're adding fractions, and they have the same denominator. Therefore, we don't need to reduce 2 fourth. Once again, 2 fourth is just equal to 1 half. But we don't need to reduce because they have the same denominator. And it would be really easy for us to answer this one. So this will be copy the denominator. Once again, if you're adding fractions and they have the same denominator, simply copy the denominator. So copy 4, 1 plus 2, that is 3. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 3. That would be 3 over 4. Alright, let's have number 4. I hope you understand this one class. Once again, class, if you have some questions with this one class, more complicated examples in evaluating trigonometric ratios, go ahead, class. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can always message me in our Facebook channel. Save name in our YouTube channel. We'll be answering that one class. All right, so let's have this one. Sine 45 degrees, quantity squared. So sine 45 degrees squared. So the value of sine 45 degrees... So sine 45 degrees, that is square root of 2 over 2, then squared, so squared, so once again, square root of 2 over 2, then squared, the value of sine 45, that's square root of 2 over 2, then squared, once again, do not multiply this one by 2, it means you multiply this equation by itself twice. So this will be a square root of 2 over 2 times square root of 2 over 2. Alright, so square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is square root of 4. 2 times 2, that is 4. Do we have square root of 4? Yep, the square root of 4, that is 2. So once again, square root of 4, that is 2. Then copy 4. Check, can we reduce the fraction? Yep, we can reduce the fraction. So question, sir, is it necessary to reduce the fraction to its lowest term? Yep, that's actually mandatory class. You will always reduce the fraction to the lowest term if you can reduce, especially if it's your final answer. So once again, class, always reduce the fraction to its lowest term if you can reduce, especially if it's your final answer. So we can reduce this one by 2. The GCF of 2 and 4, that is 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Therefore, class, our answer for number 4, that is 1 half. Alright, so that's it, class, for number 4, that is 1 half. So once again, let's try more examples, class, for you to understand this one, class. I will give you more examples, class. All right, let's try another example. All right, so let's proceed now to number 5. So let me just copy the equation. Sine 30 degrees multiplied by tangent 45 degrees plus tangent 30 degrees multiplied by sine 60 degrees. Alright, so sine 30 degrees, that is 1 half, times tangent 45 degrees. Tangent 45 degrees, that is 1. So times 1 plus tangent 30 degrees. So tangent 30 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 3, times sine 60 degrees. So sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. So once again, class, you simplify this one. Multiplication comes first before this addition. So you multiply this one and you also multiply this one. So 1 half times 1. So 1 half times 1, that is 1 half. Plus, you, so you simplify this one. So let's multiply that. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. 3 times 2, that is 6. So can we simplify square root of 9? Yep, we can simplify square root of 9, right? What would be the square root of 9 plus? The square root of 9, that is 3. Then copy 6. 3 over 6. So once again, we simplify this one. Square root of 3 over 3 times square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that's square root of 9. 3 times 2, that is 6. Square root of 9, that is 3. Then copy 6. So this will be 1 half plus 3 over 6. Now you check plus they don't have the same denominators, right? So to solve this one, we need to find the LCD. But you always check the fraction class if you can reduce. Can we reduce 3 and 6? Because it will take time class if you find the LCD. 
So, 2 and 6, the least common denominator, that is 6, right? You find a number that we can divide 6 and 2, the smallest number that we can divide 6 and 2, that would be 6. So, 6 divided by 2, that is 3 times 1, if you still remember, class. But in this scenario, class, instead of finding the LCD, you always check if we can reduce 3 over, 3 over 6. Can we reduce 3 and 6? Yep, 3 over 6, we can reduce that 1 by 3, right? Divide by 3, divide by 3. 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So, 3 over 6, we can write that into 1 half. Okay, so this will be 1 half plus 1 half. So, 1 half plus 1 half, of course, that is 1. Okay, of course, that is 1. Uh, or if you're confused, copy the denominator, same denominator, copy. And then 1 plus 1, that is 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. That's it, plus. That's the answer for number 5. This one is 1. Alright, so, quite complicated for number 5. Let's try more complicated examples, class. Number 6. Alright, so number 6. Once again, let me copy the equation. So, sine 60 degrees times cosine 30 degrees minus sine 30 degrees times cosine 60 degrees. So, sine 60 degrees, so sine, then 60 degrees, is square root of 3 over 2, multiplied by cosine 30 degrees. Cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2, minus sine 30 degrees, that is 1 half, times cosine 60 degrees. So, cosine 60 degrees, that is 1 half. Alright, so simplify. Once again, do not subtract. You multiply first. Multiplication comes first. Before this subtraction. So you multiply this one. Square root of 3 times square root of 3. That is square root of 9. Then 2 times 2. That is 4. Minus. Let's simplify this one. So 1 times 1. That is 1. 2 times 2. That is 4. So check class. Can we reduce this one? Can we simplify? We cannot reduce. But can we simplify square root of 9? Yep. We can simplify square root of 9. What would be the square root of 9 class? So once again. We can write this one. Square root of 9 over 4, we can write this one. The square root of 9, that is 3. Then copy 4 minus 1 4. So once again, class, do not be confused, class. Where did I get 3? The square root of 9, that is 3. So let me just okay, let me just copy this one, class, for you not to be confused. Once again, we can simplify this one. Square root of 9 over 4. Square root of 9, that is 3. Then copy 4 minus 1 4. So once again, I just simply copy 1 fourth, then copy the minus sign. Square root of 9, that is 3. Copy 4, minus 1 fourth. So 3 minus 1, that is 2. Then copy the denominator. So check class, can we reduce 2 over 4? Because if you can reduce, you always reduce your final answer class to the lowest term. That's actually mandatory class. Yep, we can reduce this 1 by 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Therefore, class, our answer for number 6, that is 1 half. Alright, so let's try number 7. This will be 6 cosine 45 degrees plus 3 sec 45 degrees. Once again, class, if you have a number together with this trigonometric ratios, it means multiplication. So this will be 6 times cosine 45, that is square root of 2 over 2, plus 3 times sec 45, so sec 45, that is square root of 2. Alright, you can actually cancel 6 and 2, class, because we can divide 6 divided by 2, that is 3. But if you're confused, go ahead, class. Just add 1 on denominator. Understood that there's 1 here for the whole number, because we can actually divide that 1. But if you're confused, okay, let me do it step by step. So understood that there's 1 here. 6 times square root of 2, that would be 6 square root of 2. 1 times 2, that is 2. Plus 3 times square root of 2, that would be 3 square root of 2. So, can we divide 6 and 2? Yep, the whole number. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, we can divide this one. This will be 3, then copy square root of 2, plus 3 square root of 2. Once again, if you're adding radicals, if they have the same radicands, copy the radicands, then simply add the numbers outside. So, 3 plus 3, that is 6, then copy the radicands. Copy square root of 2. That's it, plus. That's the answer for number 7, 6 square root of 2. Alright, let's try last one class, number 8. Quite complicated, right, for this one? 
But actually, class, if you understand it one, if you do it step by step, I'm sure, class, this will be very easy for your class. Alright, so number 8, this is 2, then cosine 30 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. So square root of 3 over 2, so once again, 2 times square root of 3 over 2, the value of cosine 30 degrees. Then squared plus 3, then the value of sine 30 degrees, that is 1 half, then squared. Once again, class, do not multiply 2 and this equation, it should be this equation, then exponent. If you still remember, class, PEMDAS... So once again, PEMDAS, parenthesis, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Parenthesis, exponents comes first before multiplication. So do not multiply this one. It should be parenthesis, then exponent. We need to simplify this one first. Quantity, square root of 3 over 2 squared. Alright, so let's simplify that one. So copy 2, then simplifying this one, square root of 3 over 2, then squared. It means that you multiply this equation by itself twice. This will be square root of 3 over 2 times square root of 3 over 2. So square root of 3 times square root of 3, that's square root of 9. 2 times 2, that is 4. So do we have square root of 9? Yep, the square root of 9, that is 3. Then copy 4. So this will be 3 over 4. So this will be 2 times 3 over 4 plus... Alright, so once again, do not multiply this one. So simply copy 3. Then we simplify this one. 1 half quantity squared, it means 1 half times 1 half. It doesn't mean 1 half times 2, it means you multiply this equation by itself twice. So this will be 1 half times 1 half. So 1 times 1, that is 1. 2 times 2, that is 4. So this will be 1 fourth. So this will be 3 times 1 fourth. Alright, and then you multiply class. Once again, understood that any whole number, there is a denominator of 1. So this will be 2 times 3, multiply the numerator, 2 times 3, that is 6. Multiply the denominator, 1 times 4, that is 4. Plus, so understood that there's 1 here for the whole number, multiply the numerator, 3 times 1, that is 3. 1 times 4, that is 4. So this will be 6 over 4, so once again, 2 times 3, 6 over 1 times 4, that is 4. Plus, understood that there's 1 here, 6 over 4, plus... 3 times 1, that is 3. 1 times 4, that is 4. And then you add plus. 6 plus 3, that is 9. Then simply copy the denominator. 9 over 4. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 8. All set. And this given equations, class. So you try this one, class, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check, class, if you really understand our topic. So sine 45 degrees, quantity tangent 45 degrees, minus cosine 60 degrees. So you put your answer in the comment section down below. So once again, this is Teacher MJ and I hope you learned something new today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye!